for our login page, checking their email is the easiest part of the work. Checking their email seems to be the straightforward part because we've already done it here. So I can come down right here, get all the users from my database, and um, I'm getting all the users from my database. I'm counting all the users from in my database. I don't need the I don't need the uh, ID aspect, and then I can carry out this check for the users in my database. So what I'm doing is I'm running a for loop to go through all the users in the database and checking if this user exists. If the user is, is found, then I need to check the password down here. Check password. So what I'm doing is I'm collecting all the users in the database. I'm counting all of them. I'm going through all the items in the database and then checking if this email that I'm trying to use to log in is in my database. If it is, I'm going to check if the password that I supplied is correct based on the item that I found here. If I cannot find this email, then I'm going to just send them back to login page with the error message that says uh, invalid email or password and send them to login. Right, so let's see if, if it is correct. However, I want to echo out login, well, login email found. Well, password not checked. Just, this is just, uh, so login, invalid email or password. Let's see if I have that email somewhere around here. I have nothing in my database, so I need to register. Let's go to register, register a new user, uh, use it in that email, my gender, my gender is new. Um, registering as a medical team, I'm going to be working in the lab. Now I've registered and I can log in. If I click on login, I'm still getting invalid. So there's something wrong with our code here. We just need to find it. Right, so let's debug a little. I'm going to comment this out and firstly check if I am getting into this loop at all here. And stop the code from there. Submit. So I'm getting into the loop. Right, that's good. Let's see if I'm getting this correct user. And echo out uh, current user and just kill the code. Am I getting the correct user refresh? No, I am not. That seems to be the problem. Why am I not? I'm, do I have anything in here? Yes, I do. So it means this might be the problem. Let's see if that's the problem. Let's print out, uh, print out all my users from my database. And again, kill the code so it doesn't continue from there. Uh, refresh, I get all my users, however it is at position two. Okay, so I have all my users, which is fine. I'm checking, I'm getting to my follow, which is also fine. And this user actually is in my database, so I should definitely be able to log in. Okay, let's see. I'm going to take this out because the problem seems to be my if statement here. Let's see if I'm getting in here. Of course, I'm not. I'm going to add the else and echo else. And then just kill the code right here. Nope, I'm going to kill the code here. I think I have an idea what the problem might be, but I'm going to keep debugging gradually. Okay, I'm going into the else statement and it is saying current user, undefined current user. 
Right, I have not defined my current user. I need to define current user here. So be equal to my all users and then my counter. Okay, let's refresh. And else is there. Okay, so the problem still remains that this check is not returning the correct thing. All right. So when I after checking this, I'm going to stop the code. Refresh this, and now it works. So I knew that was the problem actually. I, I later found that that was I later uh, discovered in my head that that was the problem. I wanted to continue debugging gradually, so you would probably see how I'm doing it. I went from each line to check what the problem is. There are definitely better ways to debug, but this is just a raw basic way of checking for errors. So what happens is after doing this check and trying to echo this out. If I don't stop this code here, it's going to continue with this loop and forget about this echoing. So that was the problem and that has been fixed. So if I found this user in my database, the next thing to do is to check the user password. And in order to do that, I need to firstly read the content of this uh, file. Remember, this is a file. I'm just checking the file name right now. So I need to read the contents of that file. How do we read the content of a file? Let's go back to our resource. Uh, it's here somewhere, but I'm going to be lazy and just do a Google search and say, read content of a JSON file, uh, PHP. No, I want W3 schools, so W3. And just come down here to see it. We've used JSON and code earlier. Um, let's see, JSON and code still. PHP JSON, let's see, how do I open the file? Is this what I want? I don't think so. Okay, PHP file, this is not what I want. Let's go back up. Um, I think it's probably on that. Is this JavaScript? This is JavaScript. That's so weird. Go back. PHP and just, yeah, this is what I want. This is JavaScript. Okay. So I can fish, uh, fish out from here. Can I find anything useful here? Okay, I think this might work. Let's see, open and read. F open, I can use F, F open to open a file. And uh, read the content of the file. Let's see what this is. Create and write, F, F open. I don't think I want to use this F open. Um, so what I mean is a function that fetches the content of the file and prints it out as a string, then I can convert that string to a JSON object and, uh, and use that for my verification. So let's see if I have anything here I can use. Complete string reference, that's not what I need. Okay, I'm going to stop this video now and search for the proper function that I mean. I, I know the function in my head, I can't find it here, and I really need to show you right here. Um, I need to show you here. Fetches the content of the file and sends it back to me as a string. Okay, I'm going to uh, stop the video now and continue from there when I find what I'm looking for.